Hey guys, my name is Brendan, and this is going to be my second gameplay commentary for Modern Warfare 2. Um, as you can see from the title, this is a team deathmatch on Wasteland. Um, my setup is the Barrett 50 cal extended mags, um, secondary akimbo rafkas, uh, stopping power, sleight of hand, steady aim, and think. Uh, stun and claymores. So uh, I g I gotta give kudos to this guy here, who got that kill on me. He was uh, rocking a silenced weapon and he uh, rushed forward, which is a really good tactic for catching people by surprise. And I was completely unaware that he was there. I mean, uh, looking back at the video, I guess I could have seen him out of my peripheral vision, but he blended in pretty well. And uh, this next death here really ticks me off because. I'm not a big fan of the uh, thermal scope because uh, for me I have a lot of problems uh, sighting people that way. I don't like the graininess and even though it makes people glow white hot um, it's not really the thing for me and I really hate when people use it because I feel like it's way too easy for me to get uh, outgunned or out sniped by someone who's using thermal scope because I refuse to use it myself so um but continuing on this map is uh, pretty good for sniping I've got to say there's lots of cover though so it's kind of hard to see people which is why a lot of people use thermal on this but I think with practice you can train your eye to see uh, movements that don't come from the map like uh when I first started playing the Call of Duty series is I'd uh, shoot at like bits of paper flying everywhere or I'd get tensed up when I saw bits of paper flying in my peripheral vision but uh, now that I've been playing Call of Duty for a while I've gotten used to it and right here I got a quick scope fail no scope fail got a hit marker and then finally I no scoped him I no scope spraying when you have extended mags on the bear, it's pretty easy, and I was too lazy to try to knife him, and too lazy to whip out my secondary, and I apologize to my teammate for uh, letting him die, but uh, pretty soon here I come up on this uh, this good spot on top of the, the minigun's bunker right here, and uh, I think I sit up here way too long this map, but I was just kind of amazed that I had never noticed this look. Um, you've got a view of people coming around the corner just fine. Uh, if you turn around, you got a view of um, the other side of the map by the house with the uh, open roof. So I think I will try to use this spot in the future. I really like it for uh, watching my team's back when they're uh, covering the tunnel. Um, oh, my kill streak setup for this game is going to be Harrier, uh, Pavlo, and the Chopper Gunner. So lately I had been playing a lot of COD 4, and I came back to this game expecting it to be a lot harder, because when I've switched between the two games before, I always found it easier to play COD 4 after playing Modern Warfare 2, um, because in Modern Warfare 2 the games... Uh, I mean the guns kill a lot faster and in uh, COD 4 you have like Juggernaut and then you have really crappy guns in it so I always live longer but uh, this go around coming from COD 4 to Modern Warfare 2 I had been doing pretty good I was getting air support up almost every life and uh, I didn't get any really good scores though they were pretty even no good KDs but um, this game I was really happy with Right here, I thought I heard someone, so I went and crawled around. Um, my team is focused in the tunnel, so I'm hanging back here because I'm just waiting for someone to come around the corner. Uh, teammate called UAV up, so I'm waiting for this guy to come around the corner. Still waiting, still waiting. And, uh, you know, I kind of hate it when people, you know, camp corner like that but I mean with UAV up I mean you know it's coming so I guess it's excusable but uh, yeah so I thought I was taking him a while so he finally came around the corner his buddy right behind him two kills got my Harrier 
called it in where they were coming around the corner they were trying to flank us I think right here my claymore gets a kill no no claymore kill sorry that was an airstrike um, they're all starting to come around this backside you have to see flag and domination and uh, I got really excited here because one I've been playing COD 4 and there's no cool kill streaks in that game and I had recently just switched to putting the chopper gunner back on. I stopped using it a while ago. Um, I only used it when the game first came out because no one was shooting down air support and it was really good. I think it was on this map with the chopper gunner that I got my highest kill streak, which is like 43 or something. No one on the other team had like cold blood at that time. And again, no one really has it this time, but there are people trying to shoot it down and I'm just doing a terrible job of killing people. I think I got four or five kills with it. I mean, on Wasteland, uh, I mean, you should be getting uh, more than five for sure. You should be getting, uh, I'd say, seven to ten kills with it on Wasteland, considering that the only cover is on the uh, inside of the tunnels, and that's a hot spot for combat. Right here, their spawn shifted, and they started uh, popping up near the tunnels. And all my guys were going around, so I thought it would be a good idea to cover that uh, that corner because their spawn was over by the A flag, I think. And I think I catch a couple more guys here. Um, yeah, y you really gotta pay attention to when your team's getting flanked in this game because one guy can take out probably three or four guys if he if he flanks them well. If no one's covering your flank or if the guy covering your flank uh, gets hosed or something, your teammates are in jeopardy and um, at that rate you could lose your spawn because if he kills enough of you. So I like to think that here I made a difference covering this, this side because uh, two or three guys came around and here I saved my teammate who's completely oblivious to the fact that someone had run all the way behind us and right here I get ridiculously lucky because I think that was the guy with the thermal sniper he uh, missed and then he went prone and I didn't even know where he was but I just pulled it out somewhere in the dirt and uh, I saw that guy flash by in the tunnel and I pulled out my Rafkas and uh, noobed him up so uh, that's it 25, 2, and 2. If you guys could uh, rate, comment, subscribe, that would be great. I'm really looking for some uh, constructive criticism. Uh, I'm new to this. I've seen what other people have done. I try to emulate the good things people do. I try not to emulate the bad things, but uh, I could use a lot of help. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, subscribe, rate, comment. And I will see you guys later. Peace.